Hello everyone, this is Finish Duck here, back with some more Let's Play Uh Uh what's this game called? Sly Raccoon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh I forgot the name of the game. Awesome. Anyway, uh in the last episode we did uh two missions and got two keys, and in this one we're gonna do more missions. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You can hide behind these walls, by the way. <laughs> and he won't see me, even though I look at him from behind the wall. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes, and I forgot to start my ta timer again. But anyway, let's go into a cunning disguise. It's a very cunning disguise, as you will see very soon. There are some bottles. I thought we were gonna go into a cutscene, like, immediately. There it is. Can you see it? There it is. And th this showing the uh, bottles on green. But there, there it is. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Those rats got pegged. Dead. Rolf appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna take these fucking coins. You don't. You can't stop me. Yeah, it's 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 a reinforced uh, steel barrel that can protect me from darts that will kill me if I don't have this. It's amazing. Yeah, but it won't protect me from fire. It like it, this 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 barrel. It's it's totally made from steel. Like watch. Oh, okay. I uh. I, I seem to be mistaken. It okay, die. Ugh, that was close. I was gonna get flamethrowered into my face. But yeah, uh another thing that this game has and uh the second game also has mm, is uh going into barrels because it's really fun and uh you can also use this like the title of this mission kind of implies you can also use it as a disguise which I will demonstrate pretty soon boom so far so good I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel the guard won't be able to see you even if he shines his flashlight on you yeah what he said that's exactly what I meant like look at this oh where did that barrel come from Mmm, that barrel looks like it moved. Mmm, probably nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this is the logic of uh, stealth video games, especially the ones which star uh, Raccoon. Nice. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to my immature humor. Uh, uh, yeah. I love things. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Anyway, uh... Yeah, this level is pretty neat. I love the <laughs> I honestly love the barrel. It's it's great. It's great. It's fucking great. We could just we could just stealth kill him right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um But yeah, I like this mission. It's it's really fun. I like the barrel. I love the barrel. Learn to love the barrel. This the title of this video will be something about barrels, probably. Hopefully, I really hope it will be, but uh, you never know. <laughs> I also love the sound it makes because, yeah, it's really funny. But yeah, it's not fireproof, so don't go into the fire and kill the uh, globe. Mmm, globe dart. Uh, weapon killer things, or or crossbows, or whatever, crossbow cannons. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I feel like I was again explaining about something, but I can't remember anymore what I was explaining about. I was saying I did say about this level, but I think I just finished like saying all the things I needed to, so, yeah, I don't think uh, we 
I have anything more to say. So, we got an extra life. We have 11 lives. Hi. Die. Hi. Bye. Yeah. And this is also a thing you can do. Uh, I think this was one of the walls. Come on. Okay, it wasn't this one. But <laughs> you can push one of the, uh, like, bookshelves. And this is another thing you can do with the barrel. You can also hide from uh, searchlights or spotlights or whatever. And yeah, we climb up here. Does this turn? No. Okay, it was the other one. It's on the other side. But yeah, uh, here he comes. And then we break this. And then he's like completely unfazed by stuff! Okay, <laughs> die. Uh, yeah, uh, if you if you move and they see you, uh, you 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 no, you're fucked. Uh, unless again, unless you have a lucky horseshoe. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the bookshelf that moves. Here's Shem Bottles. Uh, Bottles. Yeah. Uh, good English accent. I don't know why I keep doing these stupid, slightly racist accents, but, uh, uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's because I'm very bad at entertainment and stuff, maybe, I don't know. Uh, here's some more bottles, and, uh, I think the last of the bottles should be over here. We don't even need the barrel to dodge those searchlights. We technically don't even need the barrel for anything else but the uh, rugs with the evil darts that will kill and make me very miserable because they kill me. Because they are very... no, not good. But let's see what's in here. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in two four two. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I think I remember what this one is. Maybe it's it's. Ah. Uh, maybe. Outstanding! Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Dev Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Aw, uh, yeah. No idea why w it would be just like slowing down time like in the air, but watch this. It's, it's cool. Weird slow motion. Yeah, not very useful though, which, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's go into the barrel, and, uh, I think the key, yeah, it's over there. Let's go get the key. Let's go destroy these stupid motherfuckers. Ah, uh, but yeah. We are done with this level. Uh, thank you for your assistance, Mr. Barrel. And here is a fucking key. And, uh, I need to stop swearing so often because YouTube will take away my non-existent ad revenue, which doesn't exist because I'm not partnered, but, you know. Uh, yeah. Feel free to unsubscribe my channel if... <laughs> uh, not being partnered is a very, uh, important thing for the people you are subscribed to, or, yeah. Oh, shut up. Here's another cutscene thing. Fly! See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Uh, Bentley, so uh, he, he's the master of the verbose meme, meme without being uh, actually like being aware of it but that's okay let's go here to the final uh, final mission of this little area because each area is separated into two different sections and this is the 
final mission of this the section. The raining way off the charts in here! This must be the power source for the storm machine! Yay! It's really fiery. And here's here's the safe. Uh, and which means we have to go come back here when we have all the bottles. Bottles! There we go. Uh, yeah, this is another one. This is this is actually probably my favorite mission uh, in this uh, level. Uh, I don't really know why, because uh, I just really like the lava aesthetic. aesthetic. Uh, there are some things that are kind of meh about this level, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty cool, and I really like the lava factory aesthetic, and I, I, I kind of like this one too. Like, you run on the thing, and the hook will uh, take you to the other side, and I really like that, but I don't like being squished under fucking beavers. If those are beavers, I think they're beavers. But yeah, I don't like being squished under beavers. Some beaver, beavers, yeah, beavers. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stop saying beavers, but yeah, cool, uh, dude. I also like this music, it's really good, don't drop into the lava, that would be very bad, uh, yeah, hiya, okay, now we just gotta go back, because we can't get up there. Of course, we could just die because we got the checkpoint over there. But uh, I ha I have this one horseshoe and I don't want to waste it. So so we'll we'll just go the long way around or something. But yeah, um, I like this level. I like the aesthetic. And yeah, it's cool. And here's some more. Dying and burning. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, uh, here's another beaver that's trying to crush us, and thankfully we got another lucky horseshoe. So, uh, all s uh, well, that ends well, I think, but I would have preferred if I didn't hit that fire door thing. But anyway, uh, uh, in case you couldn't notice, I'm a little tired, but, uh, surprisingly, I haven't yawned, like, almost at all during this entire recording session, which is kind of incredible to me, but, uh, I'm a little tired. You might be able to, like, hear it from how I act and how I, like, say things that <laughs> I might not usually say because I'm, like, really tired and I my brain doesn't function. I didn't sleep very well last night, <laughs> or I just woke up really early, uh, and I couldn't get any sleep after that. But yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that's kind of iffy to me about this level is that you you have this thing and then you have this thing and you have to like roll the lava ball or whatever it is uh, all the way to the thing. That, that's kind of meh, but you know, I I still like this level a lot, and it's just a very small part of this rather small level. And uh, let's break that. Uh, but before we're gonna take the um, uh, what you call it, the um, key, yeah, key. I'm gonna go get the safe. You know, coming here again. Coming. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, shut up. I'm unbeatable. No code can stand before me. It's got to be five seven nine. Five seven nine. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, coming here really made me realize just how small this level is. But like, all the levels in this game are fairly small, so I won't like hold it against this again. I like, Interesting. I like this level. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Aw, uh, yeah.
this is a move that uh, Sly actually has in the later games by default. So, I run into the fire again. Uh, but yeah, you, can, you press the triangle button and you have the dive equipped and he does the dive attack. And in the later games, when you pr press the uh, triangle button, like jump and press the triangle button like normally, uh, without any power-ups, uh, it'll just do the dive attack and stuff automatically because it's one of his default moves. But in this game, it's an extension of the dive move. Thankfully, I didn't run into any lava pits or fire doors or fire things on the way here. Fucking, I swear to God. But yeah, that was fire down below. Great level. I really like it, or great mission rather, because I like to call the uh, little levels in this game missions, because the uh, named things in the later games are called missions, so I might, or jobs technically, but yeah, missions is a lot more nicer term and rolls off the tongue better. Uh, but yeah, we break this and get a lot of money. We get a and so, Sly get got a lot of monies. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was a very stupid reference, but most of you probably don't get it. But uh, here we have the uh, second section of this level. And there's an extra life. We're gonna go get it, but first, a cutscene. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator! Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way up to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. You're gonna hit the blimp like a wrecking ball. I mean, what? I don't even know how that song goes. <laughs> anyway, um... Uh... Oh shit, I can't actually remember where the, or, oh, we have five keys, so, we, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the blimp with the cannon and shoot ourselves in the cannon into the blimp and hit the blimp in the cannon. But we're gonna kill this dude first, and we're gonna do this mission real quick. And what's this? There's only a key in there. What what could that mean? Don't go into the water, bitch. Okay, fine. Eh, okay, good. We got him. But yeah, uh uh this is uh one thing that this game likes to do and uh it's another one of the reasons why this game is not my favorite sly game. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! It's a vehicle section! You found it, Sly! This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure! Use your sub to blast them! The left analog stick controls the sub! Give it a try! Great! Use the right analog stick to fire its gun! Uh-huh, that's it! Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. To earn a treasure key, you'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a tube. I love this music, but I hate this mission. Okay, uh, this is treasure in the depths, and I don't like this mission. Uh, this this game has a tendency of doing very awful and not very fun vehicle sections. Thankfully, this first level only has one, be that being this one, but later levels, oh boy. But yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, there's like only one vehicle in this game, or two vehicles, or one and a half vehicles that I actually like. But yeah. I love I love this music though. 
I, I really love this music. It's really <laughs> funky. Shut up, stupid grabs that make stupid noises when they die or when they take one uh, chest. But yeah, I don't like this mission very much. Even though nowadays it's really easy for me, but I don't like how when they take one chest it means you're dead for some reason. Don't take it, bitch! Uh, but yeah, I love the music, and uh... Um, better luck next time? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I uh, missed one. Cool! Okay! Thankfully you don't lose a life, I think, so that's great. But yeah, I don't like how... How uh... You lose one, and then that's it. And I also don't like how these chests can just spawn right in front of these crabs. But I like the music again. And uh, I meant to say this last episode, but I, I actually really love Sly One's soundtrack. Like, uh, I've heard people say that Sly One has a really weak soundtrack. And uh, uh, I, can, I can see where they're coming from, but uh, then... They say, like, uh, the other games have better soundtracks, and I can understand that for something like maybe Sly 4, because that game has really good soundtrack. No! Uh, no! Next time? No! <laughs> Fuck. My beautiful treasure chest. <laughs> okay. This is the Let's Play curse. This must be the Let's Play curse. I, 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 I've done this a l lot of times on my first try. Why am I sucking now? Okay, don't take it. But yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, this, this is my favorite soundtrack in the series. Like, no joke. But I can definitely see if you think the soundtrack of this game is a little bland, because all the Sly games have the, the soundtrack in pretty much every Sly game is more focused on atmosphere, but um, uh, the the uh, yeah. But if you think like Sly two and three have better soundtracks than the first one, then I I won't say what the fuck is wrong with you, but like okay, cool. And thanks that chest spawned right into that. Crab's claws, thank you! Or scissors, or whatever. I think claws is the uh, uh, correct term. No, 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 no. Get away from my chests, bitch! Uh, no, don't take it! It's mine! No! Fuck you! Uh, I was gonna say something. Uh, no! Okay! Okay! If you wanna be like that, okay game! Okay! I'm gonna fucking own you! Bitch! Ah! Oh, why did it spawn right in front of him? I got 30! I got 30! We should be good, maybe! I hope! Probably not! Oh god, oh god, don't take him! Don't take him! Oh no! Oh god! I, this, 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 this has really rekindled my hate for this mission. I got it! I fucking got it! Fuck you! Ha <laughs> uh, okay. That was a very weird fit of laughter, but, okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I was talking about the soundtrack, and also the vehicle sections in this game kind of suck, so that wasn't the only, uh, kind of, but not very good one. I think I'm gonna stay here because I don't wanna like risk losing life, but yeah. Soundtrack in this game I think is personally great. And uh yeah, uh Okay, fine. <laughs> but mm, I can see if you don't think that way, but personally I think it's really good. But anyway, <laughs> I'm finished up. This has been Let's Play Sly Raccoon. Go onto the fucking uh railing, please. Okay, fine. Whatever. I didn't want you to go into the railing. Whatever. Baka. Anyway, uh... Uh, I already did the things. You know what this game is. Uh, and, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna go get the last key from over there, and we're gonna go... Where the fuck is it? 
Where the actual heck is it? Can't you see it? Oh, 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 it's over there. Yeah, we're gonna go over there. Maybe to beat up a uh, evil frog dude. But first we're gonna go over there. And then we're gonna go over there. So, see you guys then.